you always been wanting? I dress in black to match my life. I'm unhappy. Why should you be unhappy? My life is far harder than yours. I have 23 rubles a month to live on, but I do not wear mourning. Happiness does not depend on riches. Poor men are often happy. In theory, yes, but not in reality. Take me, for instance. My mother, my two sisters, my little brother, and I must all live somehow on a salary of 23 rubles a month. We have to drink, eat, I take it. You do nothing but moralize or else talk about money. To you, poverty is the greatest misfortune. I think it is a thousand times easier to go begging, but you know nothing about that. I hear the tragedy of my existence. Even when I was young, I always looked as if I was drunk and all. Women never liked me. Why is my sister out of temper? Why? Because she is jealous and bored. She isn't even acting this evening, but Nina is, so she has set herself against me, the performance, and the play itself. You have taken it into heart that your mother dislikes your play. And the thought seeps in and has excited you and all. Keep calm. Your mother adores you. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. <laughs> you see? She doesn't love me. And why should she? I am the constant reminder of her ending you. We are alone. Isn't that someone over there? No. Don't go away early. I implore you. I must. What if I were to follow you, Nina? I shall stand in your garden all night with my eyes on your window. That would be impossible for you. I love you. <laughs> Hush! It is getting damp. Go put on your galoshes. I'm quite warm. You never take care of yourself. You are quite obstinate about it. Yet you are a doctor. I know good and well that damp is bad, air is bad. Pious as people are, your husband deserves to be thrown out into your neck and cross. But it will all end by his old granny Soren and his sister asking the man's pardon. See if it does it. Eugene, my darling, my beloved, check me to you. Our time is short. We are no longer young. Let us end deception and concealment, even though it is only at the end of our lives. I am 55 years old. It is too late for me to change the ways of my living. I know that you appease me because there are other women who are near to you and you cannot fit everybody. I understand. Excuse me. I'm, I see I'm only bothered. I am tortured by jealousy. Of course you are a doctor and cannot escape from women. I understand. You have taken your hat off again. Put it on. You will catch cold. The doctor has taken off his hat to safety, Father of Eternal Matters. Enough of this. There's an end to the performance. Why? Down with the curtain. Why? Why? What are you so angry about? What? What? What is the matter with him? You should not handle your youthful egotism so roughly, sister. What did I say to him? You hurt his feelings. He told me and himself that this was all his fun, so I treated the play as a comedy. Nevertheless. I am tired of him. No one can stand his constant complaints. He is willful. He, he is a willful, egotistic boy. He had hoped to give you pleasure. Is that so? He forced his decadent trash on us? Let him spare me his nonsense. Thou art angry? I'm not angry. I'm sorry to see a young man wasting his time. I didn't mean to hurt him. My conscience is pricking me. Why did I hurt my boy? Constantine? Constantine? Shall I go find him? If you please, my dear. Mr. Constantine. I love fishing. I know nothing more pleasant than sitting on the shore of a lake and looking at the floating corks. Why, I should think that for one who has tasted the joys of creation, no other pleasure could exist. Don't talk like that. He always begins to flounder when people say nice things to him. Wait a moment. What do you want? Let me tell you again. <laughs> I feel like talking. For some reason, I feel with all my soul that you are near to me. Help me. Help me. I am at the end of my strength. What is the matter? How can I help you? I am in agony. No one, no one can imagine how I suffer. I love Constantine. Oh, how excitable you all are. And how much love is size the likes of spells. But what can I do for you, my child? What? What? Here, some flowers for you. What do you mean by this? I was base enough to stay to kill the skull. I 
What is happening to you? So shall I soon in my own life. You have changed, and I have failed to recognize you. Is it odd or even? Even. No, it's odd. I only have one key in my hand, because I wanted to see if I would become an actor somehow. If only someone could advise me. One cannot simply give it time and advice like this. I, sh I would like you to accept this little medallion of remembrance of me. I have had the initials engraved on it and scripts from the book Days and Nights. Such a beautiful present. Thank you. Think of me sometimes. Days and Nights, page 121, lines 11 and 12. No! There are other horses. You are impossible. I shall go on foot, Masha. On foot this weather? Shall we begin? <clears throat> it is only six miles. Goodbye. I shouldn't have bothered you, but the baby. He will get there all right. Come, let's begin. Don't let us waste time. No one ever, no one ever dreamed that Constantine would turn into a real author. Leave him alone, mother. Now you have vexed him. I told you not to bother him. I'm so sorry for you, Masha. I shall forget it. I shall tear my passion out by the roots. <clears throat> I don't remember anything about it. Not a thing. Shoot him! I'm pretty sure you've done it before. What? Get, get him on your knees. So you've never been on your knees? I mean, that just sounds weird, but I was, um, can I see the ball, please? 
I just want to that kid right there. Yeah. All right, then back. Get on one knee and just say, can I please see the ball? Yeah. <laughs> can I please see the ball? No. Dad, dad. <laughs> please, 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 please. Can I please see the ball? If I make that shot, you better go. I'll you make it. If I make a shot, can I Okay, I'll go from over here. Yeah, I'm gonna make it easy for you. Come here. Right into him in his hand. I saw. Nigga, what are you doing? Try it. He said, he said, Dude, you're not he said, said, he 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 missed. First of all, you're supposed to be sitting over there. No, no, uh, no. No, that's uh, impossible. Uh, Someone's approaching his shot. Um, Steph Curry. Yeah, yeah. Steph Curry, not his hey, shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Everybody, say hi to Joyce's brother. Hey, she needs her phone.